Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, glad to be back here doing this again. I haven't uh, haven't made one of these since I believe it was in July when I was at my grandson's baseball tournament in uh, Missouri. So anyway, it's now uh, January 20th and 2021 is over. Uh, 2021 was a great year for Hawaii Luxury Listings and myself. Uh, Hawaii Luxury Listings led the Waikoloa Beach Resort and sales again this year, and I led it per I, as an agent. I led uh, the sales personally as well, which is a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, we did almost sixty million dollars this year as a brokerage. Uh, so that's that's the 2021 kind of uh, update. Now it's 2022, and that's what we're thinking about now. Uh, I think in 2022, the same catalyst that drove the market in 2021 are going to be uh, present and maybe even accelerating. Uh, one thing everybody's going to have to deal with is the lack of inventory. There's just no inventory here at all. And then for the first time in my entire career here in the Waikoloa Beach Resort, there, as of today, there's one preview listing which happens to be mine and no other uh, condominiums that are actively for sale. And there's maybe four or five at the Monolani, one or two up at the Mauna Kea, not at Hawalalai. There's just there's just no inventory. So that there and there's a lot of demand. So as long as that uh, imbalance remains between demand and supply, that's going to be a major driver of the market, of course, for 2022. Also in 2022, uh, we're thinking about, or I'm thinking about, and have expanded uh, my brokerage a little bit. In 2021, I added one agent, uh, Don De Silvera, and this year, so far, I've added another agent. Her name is Abby Boone. She's uh, she's been doing real estate for about a year with another brokerage, but she has 20 years of uh, of appraisal experience. Lives down in Kona. I also have a couple of other agents that I'm talking to, so we might expand a little bit in 2022 as a brokerage. Uh, one thing I want to bring to everybody's attention is that in December at the Kalea Airport, uh, construction was finished on a new terminal, which is makes Kona Airport a truly international uh, destination. You can go through, you can fly direct now and go through customs and all that sort of thing. And so I really think that that might be the, the catalyst for the next leg up on the market here. As soon as this uh, Omicron settles down uh, and people can travel again a little more freely. For example, the Japanese have, uh, they've committed to come back in late spring, depending on how that goes. Uh, yesterday or the day before, I was talking to a couple of Canadian guys who actually landed and went through that uh, that terminal who's the, that's the first one I've, I've ever talked to so <clears throat> this whole run-up in prices basically has been uh, all by US citizens uh, you know the, the foreigners have been mostly absent from the market and when they come back you know this Hawaii hasn't changed this is still some of the most valuable real estate in the world and it's my opinion that the Big Island, in a, in a lot of respects, is just now being uh, discovered by a lot of people on the mainland and worldwide. So I'm looking forward to a, to a good 2022. I hope everybody had a nice holiday season. We're able to get together with their families that perhaps they haven't been able to do before. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Aloha.